sometimes they have problem uh, calculating why calculator. Okay. Uh, I cannot say this is like maybe it's a new. It's not a new method. I call it observation. And maybe I decided to share this observation, with the student, and also maybe I will have this on YouTube if others, you know, see. It's about why particular uh, for undetermined uh, coefficient, uh, especially when you have repeated root. How uh, why particular look like? This is, of course, what I'm talking about here for first course in differential equation, basic, very basic, you know, course in differential equation. So what I'm going to tell you, this is, I think, will work for at least for the math we are teaching here at my uh, university for the basic of uh, solving a linear differential equation with a constant uh, coefficient, okay? This method is a combination of undetermined and Laplace. And the reason why I observe it, because I teach uh, differential equation uh, uh, like backward. In fact, you know, one of my uh, colleagues, he made a joke, like Ayman Badawi teaching differential in Arabic. <laughs> I start from the last section, and my last lecture maybe will be the first section. Uh, why? Because, you know, it's, it's boring if you f keep following all, you know, textbook. I'm not saying anything when there are text. I have to be careful here, because I learned that the language is important. Uh, so uh, I'm not saying the textbook are wrong. But, you know, I mean, we all have different point of view, how we see things. And uh, because I teach Laplace, usually the first thing, or maybe I should not say the first thing, usually I start the course with uh, the initial value theorem. Uh, for me, I tell them this is a fundamental theorem because when you solve the system, you want to make sure with, you know, some initial condition, that the solution is unique. So, you know, like that's it. If you have a different method, does not mean you're going to have a different answer. So, this is how usually I start my uh, uh, differential equation uh, course. So, let me give it and I try to be brief, tell you the idea I have in mind for why particular using uh, undetermined. With Laplace together. And sometimes Laplace alone will do. So here is the usually the question you have differential equation equal like uh, t square e to the t. And we tell the student that y general equal y homogeneous plus y particular. Okay? And this is here uh, like constant. So here we have constant coefficient, coefficients, the side, you know, like uh, if I be more precise, I will say my differential equation like a n y n plus a n minus one y n minus 1, keep going, well, uh, a1 y prime plus a0 y equal, I've selected this here, e square e to the t, e to the t, okay, and a n, a n minus 1, a0, these are real numbers. And of course, like an is not 0. Because if an equals 0, then we have a smaller order. Okay, 
So it, all coefficients are constant. And I want to calculate how you calculate y particular. And usually the student, they have, uh, let's imagine you're homogeneous. I imagine equal like uh, uh, something, I don't know, uh, C1e to the t plus uh, uh, something like uh, uh, C to T, E to T, right? That's your homogeneous. Now we can find, find Y particular, okay? For the method, I'm going to tell you, just stare at this. And we tell the student, usually, in our differential equation, we look at uh, the particular here. Here is my particular. We know the general form of particular will be a polynomial of degree 2 times the t. And then we tell the student to multiply that with t. This is at least what I tell my student. Of course, if you don't teach Laplace before, uh, I mean, um, before anything else, you can use what they call it, the, I think, derivative operator D. Like you want to know what D, what, I mean, the, what eliminate this. That's another way to find uh, Y particular using the D of the operator. Uh, things like I remember, like uh, yeah, I don't know, like I think d minus two that will kill e to the two t. What this mean? You derive uh, e to the two t minus two times e to the two t. Definitely, you come up with zero. Playing with uh, this operator, you come up with a particular. This is a method in the book. but the problem here. You have to memorize like what kill what. Here I only since I'm teaching Laplace at the beginning, I'm gonna show you how you calculate y particular easily. Easily. I mean uh, not to, to find what's the general form of y particular. Okay? And uh, here definitely maybe I should uh, mention the characteristic polynomial. How did we come up with uh, Y homogeneous? There is one step missing here. Definitely that means uh, my uh, uh, differential equation here. So I will have like M square minus uh, uh, 2M, am I right? Plus 1 equals 0. Remember, the, I call it the characteristic polynomial of the differential equation. In order to come up with this, y homogeneous will have a polynomial here. Okay? All right, so let's get to the things. So let me repeat. So whenever you do something here equal, I took here t square e to the t, my characteristic polynomial of the differential equation equal or is m square minus 2m plus 1. And you know the homogeneous, all of you know how to get it quickly, c1e to the t plus um, uh, c2e to the t. Okay? All right. So the question is, what is particular looks like? This is what I want to talk about. Okay, my observation, let's try to use Laplace. Okay, whenever you use Laplace, remember that uh, I can assume initial condition. Whenever um, um, this initial condition will never change my uh, Y particular, what will change? Why uh, the what is C1 and C2? Because you know, Y general 
equal y homogeneous plus y particular. If by changing my initial condition, y particular never change. What will change? This one and see you in the homogeneous. So the easiest way, assume all the initial condition are zero. Okay? So like in this question here, here, I know from the characteristic polynomial, I have this differential equation is of order two, linear of order two. I'm gonna tell you how you find the general form of a particular using only, you only need this, only, and knowing how to calculate Laplace. And you don't have to use the derivative or uh, operator or, uh, and here you understand why we tell you the y particular will be a polynomial of degree two times a t. In fact, this is what we tell you. It's gonna be uh, like a one, uh, a zero plus a one t plus a two t squared. Then we multiply this with t squared. That's what we tell you. And then a to the t. And you're gonna tell me why square? And why you do t here? Like for repeating. You see that? You see that clearly? Uh, this is like summarizing the steps in uh, Laplace. Why we do t and why we do here t square. Okay? Okay, so let me get to it. How you do that? Look what you do. This is a method, and I assume you are really, really good in Laplace. You know how to do Laplace. Summarizing, remember how when we do Laplace of this differential equation here, you don't have to know what is it. You only need to look at that. Because when you do Laplace of a star equal Laplace of e square uh, e to the t. This differential equation here, I don't care what is it. I call it a star, the one on the left. And the condition, all initial conditions, all initial condition, like here I have y0 equals 0, y prime of 0 equals 0, and if you have a second, you assume all the initial condition zero. Just to summarize the calculation, because y particular will not be affected. What will be affected is C1 and C2 when you change initial condition. Y particular will never change. Okay? Why I'm doing all zeros again? To make the calculation easier. All right. You always gonna end up when you do the Laplace. Always, not just in this question. You're gonna end up with the. Look at this here. Let me repeat that here. So here I have the differential equation equal t squared e to the t, and here I have the equation I'm looking at minus two m plus one equals zero, and we come up with m equal 1, repeated it twice, m equal 1. And remember that y homogeneous is c1 e to the t plus c2 e, uh, t e to the t. Okay? c2 t e to the t. This is your uh, uh, homogeneous part. Okay. I mean, because I'm talking, but if you under, later on, you do it quickly. So now, if you try to do Laplace, you're always going to end up with this, always. Y of S, briefing, you don't have to know. Here, whatever here, it will be like S squared minus 2S plus 1. 
this one here will be the same always, not only in this question. This thing here will be always this one. And you can see why. But this is this is a method. I, I, I know why. But for you being, you know, this is, is going to be the same. That's why sometimes I believe and determined method is summarizing of Laplace. This equation, again, that's crucial, will be the same equation as this one here. You put it here. Equal, quickly, the Laplace of that. And here, that's why I said you have to do things quickly. All of us know what's the Laplace of this function here. I think we it will be three factoria, right? Over or two factoria, two factoria over, and this is shifting. I think all of you know s minus one cube. All of you know the Laplace of this one here. So the Laplace of uh, double star double star is this one here. Okay? So you, this is always this. Okay? And then quickly, what is Ys? It's gonna be, this is, remember, this is S minus one uh, square. So it's gonna be two over S minus one to the power what? Five. Okay, this is, of course, I'm talking again, but if you are a good student and you know how to do the lab less quickly, you finish everything in three minutes by staring. Okay, so now, here, what do you do? Look. So I end up with y s equal uh, two. I don't care about the numerator, only stare at the denominator, s minus one to the five. And my fraction, we, we tell the student, this is c1 over s minus plus c2, partial fraction, integration in calculus two, uh, s minus one square plus c3, s minus one to the four, a three, then you reach five, plus a C4 over a S minus one to the four, plus a C5, S minus one to the five. And all of us know that YT is equal to the Laplace inverse of this thing here. Laplace inverse of this thing. Let's call it triple. All of that, because I already, uh, all right? Here, here is the thing. Don't worry about, I don't care. Don't look at the numerator at all. The only thing you want to know, something like that. Now the Laplace inverse of this one here, the first one is going to be C1 e to the t. What is the Laplace inverse of this one? Think about it. This is hash shifting. So it's going to be C2 t e to the t. Right? All of you see that. What is the Laplace inverse of this one here? I don't calculate. I don't care. I just want to know. The, uh, the general form of y particular. How does it look like? This is where the problem with some student. Quickly, what is that? This is C3, I think, uh, T square e to the T. And the B, this is what? C4, uh, T cube, I think, uh, e to the T. All of you. What is the Laplace inverse of each one? C5 e to the 4 e to the t. Right? Okay, here is the crucial part. Here is the crucial part. 
What y homogeneous? It's T, uh, uh, C1 e to the T plus C2 e uh, T e to the T. That was our homogeneous. By staring, staring, this is, this here is your homogeneous, isn't it? Look, that means the remaining one will be your particular. So you know how your particular look like. And now you understand why when we have repeat, we multiply E. To understand it mathematically, if you do the Laplace, you really do understand now why when I have repeating, I multiply with E. Because this, is the homogeneous the remaining is the general form of so you finish quickly you write y particular has to look like c3 t square e to the t plus c4 t cube e to the t plus c5 t to the 4 e to the t that will be your particular. Now you finish it as we tell you. You take that, you derive it, and you do the substitution, and you calculate C3, C4, uh, C5, and so on, if you want. OK? So this is the general form of your particular here. You get it? I hope you get it. So I will do one more in front of you. And I think it will be clear. Imagine you have, so the only thing I need in this method, you need the characteristic polynomial of the differential, a linear differential equation, and how the homogeneous look like. And remember that y general equal y homogeneous plus y particular. A particular one, you can use Laplace to find it. Okay? The other method, I'm not saying they are wrong. Who is me to see these are things are wrong? You know, I'm even this is not my area of research, differential equation. This is a method again that I observe because of the way I teach the material differently. I don't see that anywhere. I know that. Because everybody, I don't know, the teaching uh, as, you know, the book, what the books say, they go with it. I just like to use my own style, my own, and you know, like, uh, anyway, but, you know, does not mean this is the easiest or the more, you know, just, you know, like observation. I think you understand my point. And again, I have to be careful. I'm not saying other methods are wrong, but just an observation. That will make your life maybe easier. How do you come up with Y particular in case you forget the, you know, the derivative uh, operator or, uh, you know, things like that. I don't know. There is another one. Imagine you have something here uh, equal, uh, let's see, it. and your characteristic polynomial all of you know how to come up with the characteristic polynomial is uh, like uh, O M uh, cube uh, minus uh, M square, right? Equals zero. So when you solve that, all of you know, you come up M equals zero, M equals zero, and M equal one. So we tell you y homogeneous equals c1 plus c2t plus c3 e to the t, right? Now, remember that y general equal y particular, a uh, y homogeneous plus y particular. The question, how y particular look like? In fact, we tell the student, this is like T here, remember? 
So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to, this is linear equation. So y particular is going to be a0 plus a1t. And then you multiply with t square. And then we tell them it worked. <laughs> and, you know, which is fine. In fact, this is summarizing what they're going to tell you. So what I'm trying to tell you, how, why, I mean, why, how did that come up? Why t square? understand it try to do lab less so we're gonna do again so quickly we do the general form of y particular so you're gonna have y s what will be your here and here the initial condition all zero so you don't have to move any trash to the uh, right side because when all these y zero zero y prime zero you know all these things then there is nothing no trash to 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 be from left to right so here you're gonna have the same again so this is m q uh, sorry s cube minus s square equal the lab less of e lab lab because I'm taking the lab this and I take the Laplace of this side, whatever the differential equation here. But remember, constant coefficient equal the Laplace of that one. So you end up, and all of us know you have the formula sheet. What is the Laplace of e? I think all of us know this is equal what? One over s square, right? Okay. Then quickly, what is y s? Y s. Remember, this is can be factored as square s minus one equal one over s square. So, what is your capital y s? If you do lab lab, this will equal to one over s to the four s minus one. Remember, my goal is to find how the particular look like all right okay then we go so remember this so i continue on the next page so what i do i write y s is equal one over s to the four s minus uh what we said s to the four i think yeah s minus one by fraction, this is one uh, constant over s plus another 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 constant over s minus 1. Then y will be the Laplace inverse of all this thing here. Let's call it uh, star. Laplace inverse of star. And quickly, you don't have to calculate these. No, forget them. I know the Laplace inverse will be a number. C1, C2, C3, C4, C5 are numbers. So this will be uh, C1, right? And here what you have. Uh, this is C1. C2 over, uh, sorry, what I'm doing here? This is S square, this is S3, this is S4 fraction, right? S4, so you have S, S square, S cube, S4. So what's the Laplace inverse of that? That will be C2T, right? And then, you know, uh, C3, uh, t square plus c4 uh, t uh, cube c5 uh, e to the t. Okay, remember that again. Again, how do you know where is your y particular? We know already from the homogeneous from the undetermined method y homogeneous. We already calculated the y homogeneous, and I think it was c1 plus c2 t e plus c3 uh, e 
Udai. That was my homogeneous. Now by staring, only stare. Because where is your homogeneous here? And the remaining one will be the general form of your Y particular. Like by staring, only staring. No calculation. Stare. Huh? I'm staring. So, this, definitely, this, and this. And now you see again when you repeat, because we have, remember, m squared equals zero, or we multiply with t e for the second zero. Huh? Here, it appeared here. You see it in Laplace. So what is your y particular now? So you remove these are your homogeneous. That means your y particular should look like c3 t squared c4 t cube. Now you go and you calculation because the problem the problem that I observe is how you find y particular. I mean the form. I hope this is clear. So you don't have to memorize uh, uh, the formulas for the derivative like d minus 2, kel e to t. And I think you have one for sine and so on. You can do all this by doing lab less. But you have to teach lab less before anything else. Then the student will see exactly why we multiply with t. And you know, all the method we teach them why we multiply t square. Remember this method combination of undetermined and in the undetermined, all of you quickly by staring, you know how to find the characteristic polynomial and you know how to come up with the homogeneous, all of you. And now you do the lab less. Okay, I will do one more in front of you. Like you have, uh, let's see, uh, something equal uh, t plus e to the t. Okay? And imagine the solution here, uh, your homogeneous, like imagine uh, c1, uh, well, before the homogeneous, i tell you what's the characteristic. Imagine it's. Uh, like uh, MQ, I don't know, minus uh, 4M equals 0. This is the characteristic. characteristic. Okay. All right. Characteristic of the differential equation. All right. So quickly, all of you, you know, this is M equals. 0 m equal 2 m equal minus 2. So from this we come up with c1, I mean y1, because we should come up with the three independent uh, solution. So and this one, all of you know, this is will be e to the 2t, and this one e to the minus 2t. So y homogeneous. We know how it looks like. because anyway you need it. C1 plus C2 to the 2 plus C3 e to the minus. So the question is how to find y particular. Of course, like either you know the method, the book, all the books, in fact. As I told you, this is the till you either you multiply with t and t square, or you use. Uh, yeah. What do you see? Uh, thing like I see t here. E to the t here. Still the same. I mean, I don't see repeated. This is two t. But here I have c one a polynomial, and here t. So in fact, student, your bar, your particular will be a0 plus a1t, and then you multiply with t. And this one is not repeated, so it will be a number, b, 
e to the t. And then you do the substitution and you're done. With time, maybe you forget. And in Laplace, you have the Laplace formula sheet. But again, for this method, you only need to know this. Anyway, you have to find this before you find y particular. And you need to remember the characteristic. And to be quick with Laplace, then this method always works how you find the general form of y particular. So I would need to remember this to go to the, I wish we have a bigger, you know, board, whiteboard, like in a classroom or something. Anyway, sorry about that. <coughs> okay. So to find y particular, this is what uh, I'm going to do. So we have, uh, here we go. I know that we're going to end up with y s. What is the characteristic polynomial? It's going to be the same as a cube minus 4s. Remember that in the previous page, we have m cube minus 4m equals 0. Right? This is always equal. A lab less, remember that I have the differential equation equal t plus e to the t. So I need to find the lab of that. Well, all of you know this is equal 1 over s square right? plus 1 over s minus 1. You agree? Yes, you agree. Okay? So this is the, you know, it will be something here. I don't care about the numerator. It will be s squared times s minus 1. Don't look here. I don't care. Because here I'm going to find the general 4. Because I combine them together. It will be something here over that. Right? And then this one here will be what? So y s, to do the calculation algebra now, this will be s, s square minus, so uh, you divide. So what you have, 1 over, I think, uh, s cube, and then s minus 2, I uh, know, something here. I don't care what's the trash in the numerator. Don't look at it. I don't, you don't care at all at this, by fraction. And then uh, what? I'm doing the algebra. S plus 2, and then uh, I think S minus 1. Right? So this is equal a number over S plus a number over S squared fraction. The calculus, you learn uh, partial fraction, we call it. Uh, s cube plus c4 over uh, what uh, s minus 2 plus c5 s minus 1 plus c6 over s minus 1 okay so you know that y t quickly will be a number times t right Plus, uh, let's see here. What went wrong here? Do that. Yeah, C1, no, it's just C1, a number. Because, you know, yeah, the <laughs> there's no T here. I forgot Laplace. And this one here will be C2, uh, E, Laplace inverse. Remember, I'm doing now the Laplace inverse of that. Very quickly, C3, 
t square plus c4 e to the 2t plus c5. All of you know how to do that even faster than an old man like me. c6 e to the t. All right. And of course, if you go back to the homogeneous, let me remind you, my homogeneous was what? Was a number C1 T, no, C1 plus uh, C2 E to the T plus C3 uh, E uh, here, 2 T, well, the homogeneous part that we already did. So you stare. Now you finish it by staring. Here is it. Here is your homogeneous C1. And you have something, a number times e to the t, this one. Right? Uh, let me. So this one, this one, and this one. Uh, where is uh, here? I think we have. Uh, y s minus one here where i am this is s plus two right s minus two s plus two here yeah i know you you do this better than me because when you factor s square minus four you have s minus two s plus two all right so here you have here it's supposed to be two t I think you get the idea. These three tears goodbye. This one, this one, this one. The remaining one will be how your homogeneous, uh, your particular look like. And that's, if you remember, this is what I told you to do. So Y particular is going to be CT plus C3. E square plus C4, or whatever you want to call it, it's not a number like C3 again, e to the t. And now you do the substitution and you come up with, so what I'm trying to tell you, you can use Laplace, that's the goal. We use and determine coefficient, you can use the two methods together. And you come up with your what? Your, how your particular look like. And you don't have to memorize anything more than the Laplace formula sheet that we already, we, anyway, we gave you. And by doing this method, you understand exactly why when we tell you you have repeated, you multiply with T. Like we summarizing, the, like we see things and we summarize the Laplace method, okay? I hope this is a clear uh, for all of you. And you know, I mean, I can keep going. So now uh, I think you get my point. My point, again, memorizing, you need the characteristic polynomial of the differential equation, whatever equal to, like m squared plus uh, one equals zero. Okay, and you need to know what is your homogeneous. Like here in our, uh, here, what will be? Uh, that's I, is it? M equal uh, imaginary uh, plus or minus I. So we know this is going to be uh, C1 cosine, uh, I don't know, something. Uh, uh, what we said, yeah, it will be uh, T plus C2 sine t, the homogeneous part. Now, what you do, uh, y s, I want to know how the particular look like. It will be s squared plus 1 equal, and let the differential equation equal to, I don't know, 5. In fact, here, uh, maybe the, uh, this, then we tell you that y particular will be constant. We tell you that. But if you want to understand why, you just do that. This is equal to this is will be 5 over S. So capital YS 
equal 5 over s times s squared plus 1. And remember, in this method, numerator is not important. I only want to know the general form. Okay? And remember, in this method, I always assume the initial values all zeros. So you don't have to move anything to the left, to the right side. Because your y, y particular will never change. Only the C1 and C2, the art of the homogeneous, will change. Okay? And you know, this is uh, how you do that. This will be like, uh, you know, like uh, uh, something like uh, AS plus B over S square plus uh, 1 plus uh, uh, a constant over S. Well, all of you, you know, the Laplace inverse of that, you can split that into, you know, two fraction. And you know, this is going to be a number, C cosine uh, T plus a number, uh, C2 sine. You have to be very good in Laplace. Plus, this is will be uh, what? Uh, just a number, C5. Well, by staring, this is your homogeneous, this is your homogeneous. The remaining one will be your particular. So you, if you forget what I was telling you, when you multiply with t squared, just use that. You know, just use that. If you, th you don't like to memorize. But you have to be very good in Laplace. So that means particular will be a constant and we expect that but now by doing lab less you see why why particular should be a constant because this part here here is your uh, homogeneous so this one here will be your particular and you finish you don't have to memorize the d and uh, when you multiply with d and you know and there is another one in this wall always for another one I observe. And you can verify the observation. I'm not going to, I think I will do my, I'm not going to repeat that. What I'm going to tell you, you observe it by doing Laplace. Why I do that? Like this, look. Like you have uh, uh, something here y to the 4 uh, plus uh, no something and the lowest derivative let's see is to equal a polynomial special case polynomial like you know it has to be a polynomial like you know like i don't know write something p cube plus 2 e minus 1 Okay, you know how to find the um, uh, homogeneous. Here, too, this one here is the smallest derivative I'm using. Like, you know, um, there is nothing after 2. You can verify what I'm going to tell you using uh, Laplace. So, your particular it's going to be a polynomial of degree 3. And then you multiply with e to the smallest derivative. So, like here, I will have like t e cube uh, plus 2t, I said. So, it's going to be like, you know, a3 t cube plus a2 t square plus a1 t plus a0 and then the whole thing you're going to multiply it with t square okay you're going to tell me why the only way to understand it go ahead use the Laplace or you know you have to know that what you know the formulas for the uh, derivative operator I think they call it D, D minus 3, and D plus, I don't know what, D minus 2 square, things that eliminate. Okay, here in this method, you don't have to know 
more than lab class and remember your characteristic uh, polynomial and the homogeneous then you stare you take away the homogeneous the remaining part will be the general form of y particular and then you finish it as usual. You, you do the substitution and you're done. Okay? All right. So, well, I mean, I think if you still don't understand it, I mean, I tried to give you different, uh, maybe in the classroom I did, uh, I told you when you multiply with E and when you multiply with E square and whatever. And here is another one. And if you still, you know, you don't have to get a hundred. I mean, how many questions like that will be on the exam? One or question. So just, you know, find the homogeneous and forget. If you still don't know what, how to find the particular, I mean, you know, why when I get a hundred, show that you are a human, you know, you make mistake. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, so uh, that's it for me. I, I know. I just love Matt. Okay, goodbye.